Hello, today in this module we're going to discuss how to manage all of the assignments that you have created um, throughout the school year and different marking periods, as well as how to use the calendar to help you identify when different assignments are due. So the first thing you need to do is log into Synergy. From this home screen you're going to go to Gradebook and you're going to come down to where it says Assignments. Now this page allows you to organize your assignments based on content area. Uh, that's why when you're creating an assignment, you want to make sure that everything is checked to relate or be kind of tagged to um, that particular content area so that when you're um, grading and you're looking at things, um, you're not looking at them all in homeroom um, because if you do that, you won't be able to sort them based on your content area. So for instance, today I want to look at all of the reading assignments. So I'm going to come up here to my focus, select reading and all of the reading assignments that I have created for the entire school year will be located here. I can click to show the periods, which are just the um, marking periods, or um, I can unclick it. I can have show 10 assignments per page or 50 assignments per page. Um, today I'm just going to focus on 10. I also can select by the particular standard in which I would like to look at. So if I am reteaching key ideas and details and I want to modify an assignment, all I do is select this different correlation or this correlation that says key ideas and details and all of the assignments that I have created here will appear. Uh, so if I wanted students to redo an assignment, um, I just select the assignment that I want to modify, I come over and I can change anything by, up here by using this row. So if I want to change the assignment date to October or September 13th, I can do that. I can select September 13th and then click the green button and it will change everything that is selected over here to September 13th. I obviously want to change math to reading. I select the green button. I cannot change the rubric score. This is something that is standard. Remember we are working with standard based instruction so we're not going to be using percentiles or letter grades but instead only the rubric score so I'm not going to change that. I want to make this um, an assessment so I'm going to click my um, green arrow button. I can change the max score, the points possible, but again we're not using percentages so this is irrelevant. I can um, make this not for grading if I want a student to redo it. Um, I can not for grading and remember in standards based grading we do not use extra credit so we don't need to use extra credit. And then if I want parents to see it I can click in the portal. If I do not want them to see it I just simply uncheck it. And once I'm done with that, things have been automatically changed. I don't have to do anything except come up here to where it says Save Changes. And once you see that um, this is not highlighted anymore and your Save Changes button is kind of grayed out, you know that all your changes were made. And that is how you use, um, how you can, or one way that you can organize your assignments. You can also assign, um, organize them by grading period. So this breaks everything down by which marking period it was graded or added in. If I wanted to add or change um, this assignment to a new marking period, say I wanted to um, use developing questions and I wanted to include it in the second marking period and the fourth marking period, I just simply click the two boxes under each category, under each marking period. I come up here and click Save Grading Periods. See that it has saved? Um, you can log out. Well, by going to the calendar, um, you can organize your assignments this way. I can select different types of um, assignments that I have created. And then I can select the month in which they are created. So let's see if there's anything in September. Oh, I have a few in there. I can display the dates that are assigned, so as you can see on the actual assignment. I can display the points possible, 
and I can show all of the classes that have the actual assignment. So it really allows me to see as much detail as I want to about these assignments. Um, if I click on this assignment, um, kind of hover over it, rather, um, I can enter scores, I can edit um, an assignment, and I can create an assignment resource directly from here. So those are two different ways that you are able to manage your different assignments in your gradebook.